welcome. One big family is at the Wat Lao Surabuda Havas of Dallas. Big New Year's celebration. And we are the whitest kids that you know here. We are the wise people here, which is pretty true. But awesome food, chicken, sausage, spicy meatballs. Remember to bring the uh, alcohol. You got to bring your alcohol when you come out we here. We brought ours. Here's mine. So this year it happened on April 19th. Next year, who knows? We've never been to New Year's like this at all. There's a lot of drunk people. And Not everybody's really, yeah. having a good time. It's just a good time. It's a good time. And honestly, it's, it's a lot of like the New Year's I've known. Hey, what are fart bombs? Huh? What are fart bombs? Uh, what are fart bombs? Yeah. What do they do? Oh, uh, they're bouncing, they're bombing. Does it smell like real fart? Yeah, okay. it Just does. Uh, one second. Uh, do you have anything for longer? What do you got that explodes? Just small explode, that's all. That's all I need. Uh, three for one dollar. Three for a dog? All right, three for three. You want it? Yeah. Got one fart. Hold on, I gotta move my beers. Okay. I mean, what, what is like temple like? For us, the temple is very vital from the last century four. In our country, we have the temple. We have three buildings. Uh, the main building is the three roof, like the next one. Over there? Yeah, over there. That one is the main, the special building for the Buddhist monk. Uh, they have to recite uh, the rule, the Buddhist monk rule every every couple of weeks. Every couple of weeks? 227. To, to keep being a monk? You yeah. Have to, you have to always remember those rules. Yeah. It's a lot. Remember. Yeah. How often do yeah. you have to go over that every day? <laughs> the new moon and the full moon only. To go over there. <laughs> We have to recite again. Every time that happens. Every yeah. time there's a full moon and a new moon. Yes, yeah, that's right. Wow. Well, how long have you been a monk? Um, 17 years. 17 years. 17 years. I haven't done anything for 17 years. <laughs> I've barely been alive 17 years. Oh. <laughs> So we came back and we've got some duck heads with us and they've gotten a little bit cold by now so we're going to reheat them. And Microwave just, duck head. Just going to go ahead and enjoy them. You plop that down in there for me. Plop. 30 seconds ought to do it. 30 seconds on the duck head. Kevin, how excited are you right now to eat duck head? Not at all. I'm not eating any brains. Uh, you hear the brains boiling right now? No. It's got a smell to it. This already looks disgusting enough. 
I don't see myself eating any kind of brain out of this. I'm not gonna eat it. That's all there is to it. Look at the bill on that. I'll eat the duck. I just don't want to eat the brain. Look, there's our uh, esophagus, as Morgan pointed out, right there. Here's our good old duck head. Got the bill. See the eye and the bill. Uh, brains in there somewhere. Fine, I'll eat the god. Brain. Don't bite into it like that. It's bone. Don't hurt your fucking teeth. Dude. Well, where, how do you get to the brain unless you, you break past eating, bone? You gotta eat through the cheek first. That's the brain. That's the brain? That's the brain. That's the brain. There's the brain. I'm gonna scoop a little bit out. <sighs> so gross. A little bit gross. Ah, oh, it's a little bit gross. Ah. Eh. Eh. Is it really, is it bad at all? It's not really that bad. It just tastes like, um, like a barbecue joint. You wanna film? You wanna film Kevin Pugh? Ah! ah, just the thought of eating brain just grosses me out. Nick eats some duck brain. Look at this is mouthful. Is that a breeze, sir? Oh, that's cool. This is the inner chamber of the eye. Dude, this shit is gross. We'll use its beak to pick its brain out there. There's a brain. The other half of it there that I didn't eat. So yeah. Duckhead. See the ear? Hope you enjoy. OBF sure did.